Now you would think that being number one at your industry or profession would be a great thing. Of course it is, it's something that we aspire to. But there's also this great danger, and the biggest danger is losing that edge, that hunger, that willingness to take risks that made us great in the first place. I think you have to have sort of an environment where people dare to take risks. If you just penalize people every time something goes slightly wrong, then you get very risk averse uh, people, a scared organization. As long as people take calculated and sound risks, so to say, uh, then you should of course encourage them to do that. That's how you can innovate and move the company forward. Many companies talk about being customer oriented, but we actually talk about having the customer's business in focus. We want to understand our customers' challenge in their markets and how our steels can help them build better products for the future and compete better in those markets. Sometimes we even on speculation make um, prototypes or so into, and try to market them into certain uh, segments or so. It's quite rarely the market leader who uh, is most is early adopter to, to the ideas we're coming with. It's nearly always a, the number two or number three company who, is, um, who really wants to be number one, who, who is early adopter of these new technologies and so on. Uh, I think that's important for companies just thinking about if you become too big and too comfortable. Uh, you get into a very risky environment as an organization. You always have to feel this hunger to get to the next level and have that drive. If we help our customers design good products, they become su successful and we can grow with them as our business is growing. And at uh, the end of the day, that gives us a higher profitability than the, what the industry on average has, much higher. That innovative company, what are they doing? They're putting themselves on the line. They're putting themselves at risk to build products and partner with their customers. You can imagine how much value that adds, and you wouldn't be surprised how profitable they've become in the process.